Hey everybody, how you going? Steve here, welcome back to the Command Center. So today we're going to be unboxing this Sparmax Spray Center. Okay, it's, a, it's an airbrush spray workstation. Now I've basically got this uh, so I can spray in here inside the Command Center, right? So the fumes don't go out all everywhere. Um, and it's, it's, it's really cool, so it means I can keep it all contained in the one environment because um, there's going to be some serious Warhammer production going on this holidays so I figure, you know, days, nights, okay um, going to be assembling and painting Warhammer going to be recording it all, okay, every single thing alright, so I want to get my workspace set up and set up properly, alright so there will be more to come, but for now, look um, you know, welcome, welcome to the channel, please consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber and click the little bell notification down below to get the updates um, welcome to the channel everybody and let's get started on this spray work spray station and uh, yeah, coming right up Alright everybody, wonderful. So look, it's, it's quite a big package as you can see. Um, just to put things into perspective, and I'll chuck a... Uh, I'll chuck a... One of these... Uh, yeah, so... It's it's quite big. That's, uh, that's a Space Wolf uh, flyer. It's uh, the Ruin Fang Transport or something. I can't remember the name now, but anyway. That's the other another thing I've got to paint up, so I've got to get that Space Wolf army finished. But anyway, so um, let's get stuck into it. Have a look. Uh, got my snips here and cut this open. So hopefully it's not going to take too much assembly. Um, I've got a fair bit I need to do today. Um, you know, I I wasn't going to do it, but I kind of got to do it because I need to be able to work in here. You know, um, it's just very hard to get all the equipment outside and. Also, like, all the cameras and everything outside, and, you know, and, and then I'm in the way of other things, and, you know, so it's, um, it's a really good uh, solution for working inside, and also, you know, uh, keeping everything together as well, and working clean, too. Um, I've never used one of these before, I've never assembled one of these before, so you're along with me for the journey from the beginning. Um, I'm assuming that, uh, you know, it's going to be pretty easy to set up. It doesn't look too complicated, but it, you know, as I said, I hope they've given me the right product because this looks way bigger than what I saw. Um, but look, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. So, oh my goodness, this is some serious hardcore, hardcore uh, sticky tape. Because yeah, just get this open here. Yeah, because I've got, got to do some actual, some actual work a little bit later today. So hopefully this won't take too long. Then I can upload the video and um, you know we can start spraying some stuff because look, with the grey knights point decrease and everything, um, yeah, I've got a whole army of those guys that need to be that need to be at least base coated and washed so I could get them in a game, all right? So you know a bit of extra packaging, and uh, I'll just move the camera over. I'm just gonna come around here. Well, actually maybe. I'll just move the box, that might work a little bit better. All right, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit on here so you can see what it is we're actually building, all right? Now, the way it works is you plug it in, all right? And um, you have this filter at the back there, you put your minis or your models on this little turntable. We also have that other prop that we bought, which I um, talked about on the channel, the little turntable thing. Um, and I actually got a, a new version of that as well, which is an electronic one, so we don't have to uh, spin it around ourselves. It's battery operated, uh, but I'll, I'll do another review for that uh, on the channel. But that's more for display, whereas that thing was more for like painting, you know, so it's pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, so yeah, the filter there and the way it works is it's, it's not the biggest. It's about maybe from here to here for memory, but that's, that's plenty of room for me to spray inside anyway and keep my cameras away from the elements as well outside and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, it allows me to be near my computers too, so, you know, you never know if we ever do some live, well, it's going to allow us to do some live painting sessions. 
So, you know, I can go live on camera, do some painting. You guys can sit in, paint along with me if you like. Um, you know, it's, we'll do, we're going to be doing many projects, so I'll announce them, and then, then we, we'll keep going, and, and then you guys, we can do it all inside, have the computer there, which is pretty awesome. All right, so, and then what happens is, is that the, um, this, this little filter, there's like fans in here, little filter, it sucks the air, sucks the air back, and then into this little tube. Now, the, what I have to do is uh, you can, that tube could go anywhere, um, but what happens is all the fumes go out in that tube, um, they can either go into like a little plastic bag or something like that, or out the window, which is pretty much where I'm gonna do mine, I'm gonna get this tube, I'm probably gonna have to buy an extension for it at some point, and then have the fumes like going out the window. But the main, the main thing for me is mainly for the, uh, uh, for the paint, you know, I don't wanna get paint everywhere inside, um, and you know, I mean, obviously, you know, while you're going through and you're airbrushing, it's you're gonna have spray going everywhere. So, you know, it's it's uh, kind of inevitable. But you know, this way I could try to avoid it. You know, so it should be good. Anyway, we'll give it a go. I mean, I, I don't, I can't see myself doing like batch painting stuff in here. Um, you know, I'll probably, I'll probably just go through and um, and you know, just do you know a couple of minis, maybe five at a time or something like that. You know, but it's still, it's still, still really good. So, um, so this is, looks like a lot of this is packaging, which is actually fairly cool. Um, I can use a lot of this, a lot of this wood here. Oh, not wood, cardboard for, for letting sit, uh, stuff dry while it's painting and everything. So this kind of cardboard never goes astray. All right, and here we have the ins, in, innards of the box. All right, so I'm just getting there and, um, you could see here that we've got the, this is the pipe, this is a tube, alright, you've got your fan mechanism here, alright, it sucks it out, alright, and you've got your filters here, your turntable, alright, your boxes and everything like that, okay, so, um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, instruction manual, alright, so hopefully it's not, it's not too hardcore, uh, it doesn't look like it. What's this? The Declaration of Conformity. Okay. Thank you. Um, congratulations. That's 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 great. Um, yeah. okay. That must be something in Asia, like a, maybe a warranty thing or something. I don't know. Anyway. Um, spray booth. So here we go. Here's a here's a setup instructions. All right, so yeah, uh, looks like it's a bit of a bit of a task. So I'm gonna have to get this stuff done now, and um, you can see here we've got uh, more instructions as well. So yeah, I hope uh, I should have enough bat batteries for the camera, so that'll work. It says here I need like screwdrivers as well and all this stuff. Oh wow, this is way more hardcore than, um, than what I was expecting. So, okay, this is just a part list. So that's that's something at least. So I don't have to go through and there's at least there's like two instruction manuals, which is okay. The um, the instruction manuals seem to be in English, which is always a good start. Um, yeah, so that should be all right. I don't think it's that. It's, just, it's all right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start by just taking everything out of the box that I can. Um, putting it to the side here. Putting it to the side here, and I mean, you never know. It might this might help someone uh, on their journey. All right, so here's the back part. All right, it's it's pretty assembled. It doesn't look like it needs much much work there. Okay, it's just I mean, it's it's pretty. It's just plastic, you know. It's there's nothing too hardcore in here. Uh, anyway, let's take that out. I think I just saw the turntable in there as well. Another piece of cardboard. Um, all right, these are the. Oh, it looks like a. This looks like a spare, a spare filter, which is cool. So when this one sort of runs dry, um, we can use that one. These are the bases, plastic sheets. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually part of it or not. I think it might be, but. We'll have to we'll have to have a look. Um, so it's not 
not too complicated, it's pretty easy, but just fiddly, because I just, I just want it done, because I've got other stuff I need to do, and, you know, and, um, and that today, but I just got to get this done, so that we have it done, so it's ready, so I can start painting, because, like, the thing is, a lot of it, a lot of it is the, uh, undercoating that I need to do as well, and I use the airbrushes quite a bit, so, um, you know, uh, Having, you know, I can't really start painting tutorials till I start the undercoating side. Um, and then in order to do that, uh, this is what I was afraid of, really. Is, yeah. uh, the undercoating side, and I can't really do that until I have, you know, stuff going on. And, you know, imagine that I'm there and I'm basically going to, you know, every time running outside to undercoat a model and then coming back again. So, you know, it's just, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. All right. here's, the, here's the fan unit, all right. It's a fan unit here, which is just pretty epic. It's epic heavy too. That's what's gonna suck the stuff out. All right, I'll just take that one out. All right, I'm just you know, we just clear the packet. You know, it's that's all right. It's all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to grab my tool kit, which uh, is pretty pretty silly of me to expect not to have to do that. But um, you know. And you know, like, that's good, a couple of boxes aren't going to go astray, I'm going to need, I'm going to need some boxes, so, um, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. So let's just get, like, a little bit better angle here on that, so we can start laying all this stuff out, which, uh, which should be good. Oh, alright, okay, so, let's start. So the first thing, the first thing we need to do is okay step one use a screwdriver to loosen the screw B and remove the fan cover all right move the fan cover nine from exhaust fan seven all right so geez that sounds use a screwdriver to loosen the screw eight it's not B it's eight so of course, nothing's nothing's number, numbered or labelled, unless they're talking about. Okay, so that they're talking about that is actually I think demonstrating down here. Cause like where is where is eight? Okay, seventeen's here. Right, so seventeen's the exhaust fan. Use a screw to loosen the screw. Eight and remove the fan cover from nine. Okay, so nine. Okay, so that's that's that part there. All right, I think I understand um, what they're saying. So. Yeah. Okay, that's it. I've got it. Yep. So what they're saying is, get this thing, use a screwdriver, unscrew that. All right. So that's the first thing that they're going to do. Now, I'm going to have to just grab a screwdriver. So just give me a second. I'm not, I'm not going to bother stopping the camera. I'm just going to. Yeah, I've got something out here. It's very sick, guys. We'll use some elevator music there. All right, so I've got my, my tools. I'll just bring all my tools because you never know what's going to go on. So I'm just going to unscrew this. Unscrew this fan cover from here. Gee whiz, I hope I'm right. All right, so I'm just going to unscrew that. I want to be very, very careful I don't lose any screws. Okay, so... All right, and yeah, like, I mean, you never know. Someone might buy this and... Um, be like, oh, the instructions are a little bit unclear. It's not, a, it's not a hard thing to put together, but um, 
you know, like the instructions aren't very clear. You got to bounce them around a lot, and uh, you know, it's like, oh, I might watch this video and uh, you know, have a little bit of a tutorial. And if I if I make mistakes here, then you know, um, then you're gonna you're not you're gonna see those mistakes, and you're not going to have to do those mistakes. So it's pretty cool. Let's just start screwing that here. Just be very careful. I don't want to. I don't want to lose any any uh, screws or anything under here. I really wish that they were a little bit more clear on that on that point because, um, like, they should have at least had like a picture there, like demonstrating that, saying like, "Oh yeah, look, just remove this." this is not just like, "Oh A B C" on like the fifth picture of the instruction manual, you know, right up the top. So, all right, so that's done and that's removed. Okay, so. With that one done. It's really cool. Looks like a nice, a powerful fan there. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay, I said you listen. I ain't removed the fan cover from an exhaust fan. Set. Okay, it's done. All right. Now step two. Step two. I'm just gonna put that to the camera there. Bend all the long flaps and short flaps inward according to the indented lines on the direction that the arrow stickers point. Okay, okay, so I, I understand that. Why you would basically get me to do this now, and then, you know, couldn't I have done this later when we were ready to work with it? Why would I need to do that first? It doesn't make sense, like, you know. Anyway, all good, all good. We all know these, um, you know, these instruction manuals <clears throat> are never 100%. So, right, the first piece, we've got this here, and... This is the back of it, I believe. It's like a sheet of sort of like thick plastic. Um, so it's just send, saying bend these inwards. So we just got to bend these inwards. So bend all the long flaps and the short flaps inward according to the indicated lines on the direction at the arrow six point. Okay, so I'm seeing an arrow sticker there. I'm not seeing any other arrow stickers anywhere. Nope. All right. So if I if I stuff this up, guys, it's on camera. So I'm gonna look like a a bit of a bit of a silly head. All right. So anyway, um, no, no, that makes sense. So this would be like the bottom, looking at that diagram here, and then that would be the back, and then so the flaps would bend inwards because you got to connect these parts. Yeah. So that that makes sense to me. Uh. But this metal part here, I'm not sure what's going on because it's not actually represented in the diagrams. Hmm. But, you know, that's the arrow. It's, it's the arrow, the only arrow I can see there. So, all this stuff has got to be bent in, apparently. Um, just, just having a check around. Yeah, it's got to be because that that won't fold backwards, so it has to it has to be this way. Um, so let's have a look. It's very thick, very thick plastic actually, and it's not cut too well. So I'm just gonna have to try to bend this in. I don't want to I don't want to break it obviously. So it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Ah, uh, you know what? It's bending pretty easy once you get it going, and it does. It does say bend it in. It doesn't say like snap it. So let's get this guy bending a little bit more here. Bending in. I don't see arrows. I just see one arrow sticker. You know, it's just it's important to read the instructions all the time. Hopefully I'm correct. I mean, hey, maybe I should have watched a... Maybe someone else did a tutorial or a YouTube tutorial on it, and I should have watched that first. But, um... That's, that's half the fun for me, guys. The half... The half the fun, um... Half the fun for me, uh... With this kind of stuff is actually... Working it all out, you know? So... Which is kind of what we do daily, isn't it? I mean, when we're doing this kind of stuff, we do it because it 
challenges the mind a little bit, you know. Sometimes, you know, some, sometimes, some things more than others. But I mean, there are a lot less worse, there are a lot more worse things we could be doing as a hobby than this, that's for sure. So, I'm just gonna bend that in like that. Nice solid bend there. I suppose if I am incorrect, then I can always bend it back the other way. But that's that's looking correct to me, everybody. Yeah, I just wanna I just check my emails very quickly because I am like totally hanging out uh, for this this uh, Forge World Hydra Elite set. And um, it looks like, so I've, I've asked a, like a, a Forge World painter to come onto the channel. And um, basically he's going to come on the channel. He's just replied to me then. He's, he's going to do an interview with us, which is absolutely fantastic. Showcase some of his work as well, which is going to be uh, fantastic as well. So it's going to be good. So he, he, won, <clears throat> he won a Games Workshop painting competition. Um, not that that means much to me in my eyes, um, in that context, because those guys basically just, you know, I don't, I don't know about their judging criteria. Um, it seems to me that they just pick people's stuff out, you know, if there's a little kid or whatever, I'll just pick him out and, you know, give him a win so that he'll go buy more stuff. But, um, he was employed by Forge World, so that's, uh, that's a whole other story, so... You know, the fact that he was employed by For Forge World is... And I mean, I've, I've gone over his work too, and it is freaking epic. It is absolutely epic work. Um, I've I got to admit, like, I, I'm actually going to take some notes from him. Um, I want to get my, my, uh, my, my spray work, my, um, my uh, spray, spray painting airbrush work up to, up to where he is. He's, he's very precise with his airbrushing, like I... I haven't seen um, I haven't seen someone as precise as that, and he's very clean too with his airbrushing, and he's got a very good attitude on him as well. So, you know, fantastic guy. Um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to him as soon as we finish this tutorial. I just I don't want to interrupt the tutorial. So, you know, um, in his name. So, yeah, Israel Sanchez is his name. So. Um, Fantastic guy, you know, so privileged to have him coming on. He's he's a freaking awesome painter, I can tell you. So anyway, let's uh, continue with this. So we've bent those in, right? Um, now, okay. So now there's these other pieces as well. So there's there's these side pieces which need to be bent in. All right. So. Uh, all right, so yeah, it looks like there's just one arrow here. It's all good. Uh, go through and bend, bend these in, so which is pretty, pretty cool. These are going to be a lot easier to bend in. And you know what? With these, I mean, I'm not too concerned if I break one off because uh, number one, they're very sturdy anyway. But number two, that's what the good old super glue is for, right? So. push that in yeah like um just you know thanks to everyone as well you know like for watching on the channel subscribing and um being involved in the comments like it's it's so so important like to be commenting in that and um you know because youtube see that and like we've only we're only new but you know we've already got 146 subscribers and you know i mean like people like that this guy this painter is like a full pro i actually wasn't sure he was going to come on I thought he was just being nice, and he was just going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, um, yeah, Steve, I'll do it, whatever, you know, but, uh, and then never hear from him again, but, nah, man, he's, he's full, he's full coming on the channel, um, you know, which is, which is fantastic, and, oh, what an honor, you know, Mr. Israel Sanchez, okay, he, uh, he painted the Titan, um, I got two of them there, one of them t painted the big one, but the other one, uh, Israel painted the smaller Titanicus one. So if you if you go on if you're there now you want to have a look on the on the Games Workshop website um, if you have a look for the new Titanicus Titan uh, you can see there that uh, Israel Israel painted that one so it's uh, 
really good. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. So, yeah, that would be good as well. So just, just folding these in, everybody. I know it's a bit tedious. You can always just skip ahead in the video, you know, if you want. Um, if you're not, you know, looking to put this together. But, um, yeah. Oh, so price-wise, it cost me 250 AUD, which is pretty steep for what it is. Um, but, you know, I, you know... I'm, I'm lucky. I'm lucky to work in the industry, so I, I can you know claim a lot of this stuff on tax. So even though the the YouTube channel doesn't make any money, this is just completely like you know as a as a hobby and, and as a as a donation thing. Um, I my main job involves a lot of this because I, I do work in games. So yeah. So cool. So that's done there. I believe I've got all of them. Um, now, it's got all that. So now, step three, assemble the four booth sides. That looks pretty simple to me. We just put these things together. Right, now, we're just going to be careful here what it says. So step four, uh, I'll just twist that around so you can see as well. Let's have a look. So, when assembling, tuck in sides D. Okay, yep, that's D here. Of short flaps into the openings of long flaps first. Then press sides E into the openings. Mount the angle projections 13 to the four corners at the front to complete the basic booth assembly. All right, so, so what they're saying is just... You put the big ones in first, like you you put the side ones in first on the corners, and then you do the you go and you you do the other ones. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare these these side corners already, which are these things. We should have four of them here. Oh, this is easy, guys. This is, this is easy. It's piece piece of piece of poo poo. All right, so four of those. We don't lose those. Um, it's in there. Okay. Uh, all right. So I would wager. Let us let us do the side first. So let us do the side, and I, and I, and I guess that uh, I'd assume that these these borders are going to connect up with that border kind of thing. Uh, and I will assume that that this part here is going to go in the inside. So. What it's saying is we put these side parts in first. All right, sorry if that's hard to see everybody, but uh, I've just got to get this stuff together. All right, so they're pushing that in like that and uh, pushing that in like that. Next thing I've got to do is get another desk for in here. So push that in like that and then push this in the middle. All right, and then the other ones should just slot in like so and uh, I can see the logic behind that thank you Mr. Miyagi CEO of Sparmax or whatever the heck you called I keep saying like Tom Meyer they're probably they're probably the same brand they're just um, different products okay so this is going in there quite well it's quite snug we need to use a little bit of Siege Dreadnought Force in here, but aside from that, it's pretty good. And remember, it doesn't need to be perfect either. Like it can, you know, we just need it to be sort of like, you know, block the paint coming on. And I might super glue this together later, just so the stuff doesn't fall apart. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to do this side part here. All right. So again, just I'm going to follow their instructions. So that the ones on the edges first. All right, just making sure that they and they actually just snap in, which is really cool. And then tuck the uh, the ones in the middle afterwards. And uh, I think that's that's for alignment. Just, oh, yeah. All right. Oh, all right. Well, it snaps in there. At least, at least I know that it snaps in correctly. But the problem is, when I snap it in, then I can't... See, now I've got to get this middle part in and it won't go in. So it's kind of like... Oh no. It's 
So now it's going to be a murder to get those in there. Silly instructions. Why am I listening to the instructions? No, that's that's not not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is just to one at a time push them in. All right, one at a time, and then like a little bit like that, and then once they're in there, then connect them to the the base. Okay, like that. All right, and we just you hear that little popping sound. And uh, and then I dare say we're going to have to do that up the back here as well. So uh, and just push that. See how it's just it's just like it's just popping out like a little bit here. Um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna go through and uh, and just pop that in. Yeah. All right, so. Magnificent, magnificent. All right, cool. All right, so that's that's getting there. It's getting there. Now, give me a second. I'm just gonna check my focus because I've got the I've got the camera auto focusing, but I just noticed in the viewfinder that it's. I just want to make sure that focus is okay. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, everybody, welcome back. So, um, I ju adjusted the focus to ca stop the camera, but we didn't we didn't lose any anything there. So, all right, so we got that part going on. Get down, and we are now going to put on the other side of this, which is which is pretty cool. Right, and I'm going to stick this in here like this. So I know it's, it's going to be off camera, but once they're in, then I'm just going to push this, this in like that. In theory, that should work. But in theory, Communism worked. Oh. All right, so that's now in there like that. All right, it's that's quite a sizable unit, isn't it? Oh Guys, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. I can even like put it back here, and then like you know paint that way or something like that, which is cool. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, all right, let's get the the back on this side without destroying everything. Just one at a time, just push it in. Just push it in. Push it in. Just plug that in. Gotta be a little bit forceful with it. It is plastic, it's like it's not gonna break, so it's pretty strong, so. All right, Spa Max logo here. Very nice. Very wonderful. Okay. So I'm gonna just push this over. Ah, okay. So this this is where it's gonna start to get to get fiddly. This is where it's gonna start to get fiddly. What was that? Sounded like a mini. So. Yeah, see, I, it, would, <laughs> it would have been better for me if I didn't move these forward. on the camera so you can have a look at that boy. So let's push these in a little bit. A little bit more. A 
Alright, so. Pain in the pee pee. It's all good though. I'll get it in. Just, yeah, I really wish you could swear on YouTube because I would be swearing a lot right now. I'm just going to push this in a little bit more. So those ones don't pop out on us as we're as we're going. It's quite a quite a quite a finicky thing. But you know what? I reckon this is gonna be like the hardest part. Like after this, it's uh it's just like oh you just you know all the stuff that makes sense and that's it. But this is probably the most annoying part. But um I must say I'm I'm glad that they're they're doing it like this. Uh, and they didn't like, you know, have like a hundred screws and all these crazy vice and all this kind of stuff like that. So, all right. And then this side part here, which I forgot to bend in, so I'm going to have to bend that in now. You know what? It's almost like just a mad box, even without the ventilation. Like, even without the fan, just like spraying here and just be like, yeah, all good. Yeah. Um... Like, I'm not so much worried about fumes. Like, the fumes, I could just wear, like, a little mask or something. But it's mainly just to, like, catch the paint, you know? So, so it doesn't go all through the command center and, like, wreck everything, so... Like, I don't... I don't paint with any, um... With any toxic paint anyway, so it's all it's all acrylic. Acrylic. I used to back when I used to do the old World War Two kits and stuff. Um, so yeah, Sparmax since 1978. There it is. And uh, I saw uh, when I was there today, I saw this uh, awesome book on Russian uh, camouflage, and I was going to pick it up, but I sort of blew the budget a little bit for today too much. Um, I saw a few things. I'll, I'll show you now uh, what I what I picked up. So I needed to replace my MIG black primer. All right. And I, I needed to, uh, this is for the Imperial Fists. So I've decided I'm going to, I'm going to do an Imperial Fist box. All right. And, um, and this is for the undercoat. This is for the, this is for the armor. All right. So you can see like the two tones there, which are, which are really nice. Okay. And, um, and that's, uh, that's for the armor. So the idea will be that I'm going to undercoat in this fleshy color. All right. And then go through and then base coat in this wash over this color, then paint over it again with this color. Right. And then sort of like, uh, mid to highlight that and then another highlight color. So, um, and I will check out those, uh, war colors paints as well. But, uh, like I said, I just, um, yeah, you know, I saw him. It was like, you know, impulse purchase. And I was like, you know what? I like those colors because I, I wouldn't want my Imperial fists be being like too stark. Um, I I'm not completely sold on the golden yellow. Uh, you know, and this, this color is actually called gold yellow. So I picked that up, shaking off camera. I picked that up and was just like, yeah, cool. So anyway, that's that. Um. Uh, Oh, now the corners. So the corners are probably here. Here's three of them. One of them probably drops somewhere. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look for it. Ah, oh, here it is. Uh, on, uh, on top of my commander's box. So just going to go through, put these corners on. Now, I assume any of these corners can go anywhere. I don't think that we... We need to like you know have a special thing, but I don't know. No, that just pops on there like that. Yeah, just to brace it. Yeah, so um, just going here. I'll just I'll just get this. Try to get this one on camera for you. I think it's auto focusing. I changed the focusing settings on this camera. This is uh this is my. It's not not a bad camera, but it's just like my sort of like my lower end camera. Um, cause I, I, I knew this was going to be a long tutorial, so I needed more than like 15 minutes batteries power. So, you know, like this camera is a lot, lot nicer on the, um, 
a lot easier on the power consumption. So one battery, I could like film for something like seven hours or something. So whereas the uh, A7R2, which is the other camera I use, love it to death. I mean, it's nearly as good as the red camera. Um, but uh, in my opinion, like I just you know for this kind of stuff, obviously it's not as good as a red camera. But um, for its price, for four thousand dollar camera, it's 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 really bloody good. So anyway. Um, so this is just popping in here like that. Um, it's not quite going on exactly how I'd like it to. I'll just push this forward. But you know what, Steve? It doesn't have to be exact, mate. It's not... Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That's... That's, that's on there enough. Put some... Put some... Some effort into it. Just trying to find out why that might not be going on. And it looks like maybe this thing. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. We it doesn't have to be you know custode level precision. Um, all right, so we're making progress. So we're up to here. We've done that. Now for the electronic -y bits. Uh, so we've got the exhaust pipe. So screw the handle fourteen. So if you can see that, 14, okay, so we got to, okay, so that's a handle, we got to, we got to screw that on, I, I don't remember seeing any handle, does it say screw the handle or unscrew the handle, screw the handle, onto the top of the, okay, my one is already screwed on, so, cool. Set 17 according to the preferred ventilation direction. Okay, well, I mean... <laughs> okay, so... You, what what other ventilation direction? There's only one way it can blow, and that's back out the unit. I wouldn't... Wait, what am I going to do? Have, like, have the air blowing on me? Like, why... Okay, anyway, anyway, all good, all good. Yep, cool. Um... Wrap the binding ring. Okay, so I think this is the binding ring. These freaking instructions, they eh? like. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting. I, I was actually, I'll be honest with you, I was, I was expecting a lot worse. Um, anyway, so it's like no, no offense, everybody. Like I, I love, I love the Asian brothers. You know what I mean? Like use a very genius in terms of your inventions and everything and wonderful people but your instruction manuals need a little bit of work sorry so anyway so here's this pipe right which is really cool i'm definitely gonna need a longer pipe but uh, that's what it is um well then again not if i had it over here because this this window opens too yeah that could work anyway i'm just gonna stretch it out so i've got the pipe here which is Really nice, nice long pipe here. This is where all my fumes are going to go out. Um, I'm going to move this one. So, so I, I believe it's it's up here. So it's just saying like you just plug this in here at the top. Now the pipe looks the same on both sides. Right, so I'm assuming it's not going to matter what side I put it in, but we will find out very soon. This is the binding ring. I'm going to plug that on. Put that on there like that. Or probably actually, you know what, unscrew this first. Unscrew that first. Put that over there like that. And then slam that on top. Like that. Make sure that's on nice and good. And I'll use my apparatus here to help me to put that on. My apparatus. AKA the, the screwdriver. So, 
Now the binding ring goes on there, and then I'll need the flat head apparatus. Phillips heads, my flat head screwdriver, I'm gonna screw this on now, like that. I'm just gonna move this binding ring a little bit because I don't want it to interdict with the, the handle. All right, so I'm just gonna move that, move that over. I'll just let my focus get back into gear there because it looks like it stuffed it up. And now I'm just gonna it's the wrong way. Do it counterclockwise. I don't really think this will matter too much, but I like to be precise um, when I'm working. Of course, of course, this is this is going to be a, a a PP head to get on. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. Sorry, it's clockwise. It's clockwise, everybody. The ring's got to be going the other way. So it's like opposite, it's like to do it up, the clockwise, the actual ring needs to go around. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little sort of like part there. So I'll just get this going on. Sorry, but I'm not, not the greatest of handymen. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a techie. All right, so I'm just doing my best to screw. Plus it doesn't help to have a camera in your way and just get that on it. I want to get it on there nice and tight. As the Baron Vladimir Harkonnen said, screw the pick in nice and neat. And it's just going to be, yeah, I mean, it's got to be tight, everybody, so just skip through the video if you're, if you're getting annoyed. Um, you know, but I don't want this thing coming off and then having like, you know, Freaking chaos black all over my friggin' room. So, uh, all good. All right. So that's that. That's that done. And that's, that's probably cool. I, I still don't know why I had to un... Oh, maybe the fan goes in there. I don't know. I'm still betwixt as to how... How and why. Oh, uh, maybe there's a filter that goes in there or something. Anyway, we'll find out soon. Okay, we're gonna, and connect the pipe to the exhaust fan set 17, which we've done. All right, so, and then use a screwdriver on the binding ring, which we've done. Screw in the four exhaust fan stands on the bottom of the exhaust fan set. Right, so these little things here, these gizmos are the exhaust fan stands. I was wondering what they are, and now we know. And they look like like little bullets or something. So this this goes on the bottom. Now I should just be able to hand screw these on. Uh, why couldn't I have put that on before I did that? Anyway, whatever. And I'm just gonna put them up on the bottom here. So let's be careful. <sighs> how this is going to go, yeah, there you go, just like that, and you can actually change this around by the look of it, so, which is cool, alright, like that, like that, and, and like that, so that should just pop on the top like that, all right? Hopefully this unit works. I haven't bought a dart and gone through all this effort. Anyway, all right, screw in the floor exhaust fan stands above it. That's done. It says here, switch on, off, before assembly, after assembly. Well, I guess it's a bit late now, <laughs> so we're just going to continue. 
Um, spray proof SB88. So, step six. Okay, here we go. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Place the air intake hood for inside the spray booth. Use a screwdriver to secure the fan cover. Makes sense. The binding, uh, yeah, the binding piece, which is 10, which is that thing. Ah, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yep, I understand. And the, the air intake hood together, the exhaust fan set in four. Place one filter and one filter, so one filter one and one filter two inside the spray booth, right in front of the air intake hood. Place the rotating plate at the center of the booth. Okay, that's easy. Okay, so it's pretty much done. So, uh, so okay, I'm gonna need this. Okay, that's that's why they they wanted us to take that off. This is the this is the this is the binding. The binding ring, whatever it's called, the binding piece. Alright, so cool. Now filter one. Okay, so filter one's this big one. The filter two is this is this small little one. Right? So filter one. Is, is this guy here, All right? And filter two is this guy here, these guys. Okay, so it's all coming together. And the spray turntable, worry about that later. I'm not even gonna bother. So, all right. So, okay, this thing has got to go on the back first. Take the screwdrivers out of there. Okay, so this this has got to like go inside here. Something like that, I believe. Just push it in a little bit. And of course it's not going to fit properly, like, as if it would. Um, now I assume it has to go in there, maybe it doesn't have to go in there, maybe it just has to go on top. Well, I'm beginning to think that might be the case. Yeah, so... Um, Oh no, actually, no, 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 it must. So that, this thing, this thing, the air intake hood needs to go in first. Like that. Yeah. So that comes in the back there like that. Okay, and then this thing goes on top, like that, and then Okay, and I see those screws there. I see, I see, I see it. Uh, I see it. And then that just pushes in the back there, like that. Yeah, no, I see it. I see it, everybody. I see it. We're good. Whew, okay, I'm not going to be able to get the camera back there, though. I'm just going to get this in there. I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll explain it um, for you in a second, but I just want to get this on because this is quite a quite a tricky part and then the fan needs to go on top of that jeez that's a lot of stuff so all right so yeah this so first this needs to go on top all right direction wise i'm not 100% sure 
Okay, so they just they're just gonna pop in there like that. This is gonna be so tricky. Maybe I might sticky tape these so they don't fall off everywhere while I'm doing it. Um, all right, so that looks the correct direction to me. Uh, maybe it should go the other way inside. I don't think it's really going to matter. Mm. No, I think it should go the other way, actually. So it makes more sense to me that the... Um, Oh, oh god, I'll get him. Yeah, it makes more sense to me that'll probably No! No, okay, oh damn it, I don't know. Because I, I could I could push it down like that. Nah, nah nah. This way, this way will do. Or what if No no, it specifically says that it needs to be on top in the instructions. So that one there, push these in, I'll try it once and if it doesn't work I'll get some um, some glue tack and then to hold these in position but very very fiddly part, Actually, you know what guys I'm just, I'm just going to get the glue tack, screw it. But I picked some up just the other day, with some extra glue pack. Around here somewhere in the command center. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can see. Ah, it's a <laughs> stuck tack. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, it's actually not. It's like, this is actually better for modeling. It's actually really not as sticky. It's um, it's like the budget version of glue tack. I um, I actually I always raid junk shops for um for stuff, so I just picked it up from there. So, which is good because I don't need. I don't need crazy sticking. I just need. Oh oh, this is gonna be horrible. This is gonna be horrible. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay. You know what? I've got a better idea. I'm going to screw them on one at a time. One at a time. Because it seems to me they're just going to like fall out everywhere, so... Alright, number one. Alright, and I'm glad I, I decided to do that because. So, working. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them all in. I'm putting the screws in just to let you know, um, but I'm not screwing them in all the way. So, I'm just, I'm just putting the screws in like about three quarters of the way just to brace it and then screwing it to hold it in there. And then, once they're kind of all in and they're all aligned, then I will go through and I'll, I'll fasten them up and everything, okay? So, make sure that, yeah, that's, that's stuck there, so. Guy in there. 
All right, I'm not going to do it too tight. I don't want to thread the screws. And that's done. All right, so that's nearly it, everybody. We are nearly finished. That wasn't as bad as what I thought. I only started that, it's about an hour or something. Um, so I've still got time to do my work and even have a bit of a spray later on. So I'm just going to move this around. Just want to be careful with it, I don't want to break it, obviously. Because um, it's it's pretty sturdy, but, you know, like it's, it's, I can imagine it's not the most here. Yeah, you can see how that's working. So I've basically gone through that, screwed that on, screwed that in, all right, on top there. Now the next section is I get this filter. Oh, it's smooth sailing from here, guys. So, um, get this filter and stick that filter in here like that. Right. And I get this filter. I don't know which side it should go. I imagine the metal should be up the back. And, um, and then we push this up back like this. And we just, we just push this in. All right, everybody, looking good. Now, hopefully the machine spirit is with us and the machine actually works. <laughs> um, that will really, you're gonna, you're gonna see some epic rage on the camera if. All right, and then. All right, so welcome back everybody. This camera just stopped there. We have this turntable and for the looks of it, the turntable just sits on the top, so it's a crappy turntable anyway, so, but that just sits there so you can spin the, spin the thing around. Alright, so, there we have it. The Sparmax Spray Station, or Spray Booth, as they call it. So you put your model there, in this case, a uh, Canon Flash and spin it around all right very wonderful very good okay let's not get too excited let's 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 get the moment of truth is here now pray to the machine spirit just hope this works because i'm going to be really crappy if it doesn't i should have actually checked this before i before I actually put it together, but all right, so we've just got the power cord here, right? I'm just gonna take the plastic off and I'm gonna plug it in. Nothing yet, but I haven't turned it on. By the lighting and the tempest, Emperor deliver us. All right. working. Alright everybody, we've done it. Command Center Wargaming here. I'm Steve. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to get a freaking box of Pepsi now and drink it because that was quite a slice. Okay, so um, if it's the first time watching, welcome to the channel, guys. Please uh, consider subscribing, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next video. Let's get some freaking Warhammer mass produced. See you next time. Yeah, so just wanted to get a few shots of this guy assembled um, as well. So just for the start of the video, so you can see like what we're uh, what we're actually building today. Um, at this point, as you can see, I have successfully assembled it. Uh, and it does indeed work, so that's fantastic. So, yeah, stay tuned, everybody. Coming up on the door, it's probably going to just roll anyway, but uh, this is it, the uh, Sparmax Spray Booth from Sparmax. All right, excellent.